All right, so today I'm going to explain why I buy my oil filters for my Subaru here at Mazda instead of at the Subaru dealership. Where do you go when you're young, when you're restless, when you're fun, cause you're desperate. All right, guys. Today, I just want to explain a little bit of why I use crows out here. So today, I want to explain why I use Mazda filters in my Subaru. So back in the day, I used to use uh, the cheapo um, AutoZone filter in my car, and I found that they were really leaky. I did a little research on the internet, and I found that the Subaru OEM filters are like the most recommended filter to use in your Subaru. Um, the element is really good, and um, they don't you don't usually experience any kind of leaking from the filter on my old Forester I used to use the blue filter um, But there's actually a Subaru black filter that's even better and when I upgraded to the legacy GT um, I wanted to give it a shot so I tried to find a dealership that was selling them and I found that in America they don't sell the black filter anymore they only offer the blue which is made here in North America and if you use that filter that filter is fine but the black is supposed to be a lot better. It's made in Japan at a company called Tokyo Roki. So, you know, if you want to live that JDM life, have the good filter. So I just wanted to give it a try. I wanted to find one. Uh, I found this website. You can order them from Japan and import them. It's like 20 bucks to import a filter. I'm like, I'm not spending 20 bucks uh, on, on an oil filter. I'll just use the blue ones. I stumbled across this forum talking about how people were using Mazda RX-8 filters in their Subarus. And as I read further, I found out that these black filters from Mazda are being manufactured in the same factory, in the Tokyo Roki factory, just side by side with the Subaru filters. Um, all the specs are the same. People have cut these open, and the element is exactly the same as a Subaru black filter. The spring rate uh, from the spring that's in this filter is exactly the same as a Subaru filter. A direct fit. I've never had any leaking issues. So you want to treat yourself or treat your car to a nice filter, you might want to try one of these Tokyo Roki um, black filters from Mazda. I'll put all the technicals in the description below. I'll put all the item numbers and um, all the part numbers that you guys would need if you want to try using um, Mazda filters in your car. The only difference is these are, uh, I think, uh, like an inch longer. Um, than the Subaru filters, but that really doesn't affect much. Maybe the oil pressure a little bit. If you if you have any comments or suggestions about that and how that might affect um, your your performance, you know, write it down in the comments below. But I haven't experienced any problems with these Mazda filters. They work great for me, and I just thought I'd share that information with you guys. Um, see what you guys think, and maybe you guys could try it out. Let me know um, your experience and how these have worked out for you. Um, yeah. All right, so I'm here. I'm just about to drain the oil in my car, but um, just one last tip on the oil that I use. I like to use a uh, 40 weight synthetic oil. Um, the brand, this one's Castrol. It was always on sale, but to me, the brand doesn't matter so much. Uh, I've used Rotella in the past. That's really popular with a lot of the Subaru guys. Um, the only problem with Rotella is that it's a diesel oil, so it's not formulated for gasoline motors and from what I've read it works really well but um, chemically it doesn't play nice with the aluminum block but when in doubt it's always really good to stick to the Subaru manual and what the Subaru manual calls for is actually 5 or 10 W30 um, and then anything with a uh, where is it API um, SN or M uh, rating is what it calls for and Rotella does not have an API um, S, M, or N rating so that's why I've gotten away from Rotella and I just started using full synthetic and I just have been changing it regularly the 40 weight um, in the Subaru manual it does recommend 30 weight but 40 weight is within the uh, it's within the spectrum of what's acceptable for Subarus at least in the manual for the Legacy GT, that's what it says. Um, and I know a lot of Subaru owners who actually prefer using 40 weight. Right now, actually in here, what I have is a 30 weight Motul um, oil. And I don't know, I think the 30 weight is too light. 
um, once I get to the higher rev ranges, it just it doesn't feel good. Um, off the line, it, it's actually really great, um, the thinner oil. But once I get to the higher rev ranges, it just I'd rather I prefer the 40 weight. Um, another note on oil: if you can afford it, the Motul is chemically, uh, from what I've read from um, oil readouts, the Motul is like really the best. It's a, it's a actual race formula oil. It's you know, chemically it plays very nice with these um, Subaru motors, but I spent almost seventy dollars on um, on the Motul. You know, this guy was only twenty dollars, twenty two dollars. Um, Castrol, Castrol um, motor oil. But if you're looking into something that's going to be the best oil, Schaefer's is ranked really well, and Motul has been ranked really well. Um, from the reports that I read online, from people getting oil reports out of their WRXs. Um, Motul had the best um, chemical readout. Another important spec that I look for in my oil is actually the, uh, <clears throat> the European blend or the European formula. Um, on the back it'll say like meets um, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, um, Porsche, Volkswagen. And even though this, uh, this oil is European blend, you can put it in anything. Um, it just means that the quality of the synthetic oil is like pure synthetic oil. Um, anything that's not European blend doesn't meet these um, German or um, European automotive manufacturer spec. There's um, there's some wiggle room in anything that's not Euro blend as far as what's considered full synthetic. Um, while these manufacturers out of Europe, they have their own specifications and pretty much you can't put, they, they're not recommending an oil um, that isn't full 100% full synthetic. So these, these specifications, um, really essentially what they say is that what's in here is really a full synthetic. Um, there's no question about it and that's why I like to use um, Euroblend 40 weight in my car. Um, if you know more about this, you know, go ahead and put it in the comments down below. Um, I'm not like super scientist into this, but um, as far as the research that I've done, um, shows that a 40 weight euro blend is really one of the top oils you can put in your car until you go to like a Schaefer's or a Motul. Um, so yeah. Oil change is done. Now I just gotta wash this car because it's filthy. Look, somebody even wrote wash me on there. You see that? All right, no, I'm just kidding, I wrote that. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. Car's clean. Um, if this video helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Alright, thanks guys.